Hi friends and welcome back to my channel and today's video. So today I'm not gonna have a Swedish word but I'm gonna teach you a slang which has made me view this person a little bit awkwardly throughout the years. So today I'm gonna use the Jackie Aina palette that she did in collaboration with Anastasia Beverly Hills. You guys requested it. And the slang that I wanna teach you is actually Aina. I thought that this had the same meaning throughout the world or at least in the US but According to Google, it doesn't. So, Aina in Swedish is sort of slang for the police. Why? I don't know. So, I thought that she was Jackie the police. Yeah. Today, I'm gonna do a tutorial with the Jackie Aina palette. This is not a first impression. I will show you guys the palette really, really quick, just so you can see what it looks like. So, this is what it looks like, and I have actually used this twice. I used it this Monday and this Tuesday and today it's Wednesday so this is gonna be the third time I'm using it so I think I'm gonna try and do like a pinkish reddish look or something I'm not really sure so I assumed you guys in a little bit and I am going to start off with the shade supreme which is this beautiful pink right here I need to take this off as well like the plastic here oh you want to see it let's Rabam. So satisfying. And I did prime with a Milani eyeshadow primer and I'm just gonna stick it a bit above my crease. I think that's what we're gonna start off with. Um, I wanted this palette for so so long when I saw it. I don't remember what I thought about it as like a first impression. I honestly, I don't remember. But I remember that I saw so many people using it and I was just craving it because I thought that this was like the perfect everyday palette if you like colors and purples and still want to be able to do, you know, neutral looks as well, which I have been loving. So the first look I did was just a normal neutral look. So I used the shades, I think I used the shade Ginger, Edges, a little bit of credit and then I took Sun on my lid, maybe Soleil as well. The other look I did was a little bit more fun. So that time I actually took the shade, I took the pinkier shades and then I took the shade Pinker, which is this one all over my lid. That one is so like grungy and beautiful and I just feel like it says rock star about it. I don't know why, but I also paired it a little bit with the Norvina palette. So the OG Norvina palette in this sort of packaging just because of the fact that I did an all matte look and I cannot do all matte looks because they always crease on me um, and I did know that I had a lot of things to do that day so I wouldn't be able to like fix my makeup. So I went in with a pink shimmer and a purple shimmer from the Norvina palette just on my lid a little bit. I haven't used the shade Big Wig, which is the purple, and I remember from the Riviera palette, I don't like that purple. So I think I'm actually gonna take the shade, this one, Pig, Big Wig, and slather my lid in it and see if this one is a little bit better. So I'm just gonna take this right underneath here. So just under the pink and start blending it out. I remember I thought that the purple in the Riviera palette worked fine in the beginning, but now I just don't. I don't know if it is because of the fact that I couldn't use it with my eyeshadow primer or I don't know what problem it or me had, but something. So I actually bought this palette because, you know, Beauty Bay had their Black Friday sale. And I was like, okay, great. I'm gonna see if this palette goes on sale. I was hoping that it would. And then I was led into their sale and I was like, oh, it's not on sale. So I started putting shit into my basket, you know, just, I like doing that when I see something I want, I just put it in my basket and then I can go back and like take out products. So I was doing that and then I put my phone down. I was like, okay, no, I don't know if I'm gonna place an order. So let me just put my phone down and think about it for a little bit. And then after like an hour or so, I went back to the website and I looked and I was like, 
the Jekyana palette is on sale. I put it in my cart and I checked out immediately <laughs> because I was so, I was like, oh, I need it before it so, sells out. And then like the next day it wasn't on sale anymore. So I don't know why. The purple seems to work very good, but I will take a little bit more of the pink just to smoke it out because I don't want the purple to get too overly dramatic. So I just changed brush. This is actually a brush kit that I bought from BH Cosmetics. I've talked about this before, but uh, you don't have to purchase really expensive uh, brushes. The BH Cosmetics brushes, in my personal opinion, are very, very good and they hold up and they have a very, very nice quality. I feel like the purple is kind of stuck here. I have a hard time blending it out. So I think I'm going to take a little bit of the pink and just a little bit of the purple. Uh, just like a tad. I took a little bit of the kick up. And now I'm going to see if I can kind of blend it out a little bit. It doesn't really want to blend out. I'm going to take a little bit more of the purple, tap it off, and then a little bit of the pink on top. And then... Trying. There we go. Now I'm just wiping it off my leg. I don't have any pants. Well, I have pants on, but I have shorts. And then we're just taking whatever is left on our brush and blending. Now I'm gonna take the shade Pinker, which is the this one, which I love. I think it's so grungy and beautiful. So I'm just taking this on a little packing brush and then I'm going to take it in my outer corner. And by the way, I have only done my foundation, primer and brows. So if I look very, very shiny, that's why. And if I get fallout, there is no biggie. So this purple kind of gets covered up, but it, it's Fine. I'm actually taking this a little bit over the purple. I thought that this was so beautiful that I just had to. I look grungy and fierce. I was actually planning on taking the red, which is called Wigglies. Um, it looks absolutely beautiful in the pan, but when you swatch it, it's like very, very, very warm. So I'll show you. I mean, I get that it would be warm, but it was a little bit warmer than I thought. It kind of contains almost like an orangey base. Um, so I think I'm gonna go another route. I'm gonna start off with the shade Lith, Lith, Lithuation, which is this one. And we're just gonna take this in the edges. So right here. You know what you could actually just take this and kind of slather your entire lid because it actually matches pretty good with this look actually you know what i think i will do that this is very different from what i usually do so i will actually just take this all over I thought that this would be the shade that I would never ever use, but with this look, it kind of just becomes very, very grungy, and I think it matches very, very nicely. I never thought I would say this, but dang, this was pretty. <laughs> Sorry, it was very, very pretty. Um, okay, so I will go ahead and clean this off and everything, do my lashes, and then we can come back to do the under eyes. So I've done my face makeup, and I just have to say, I don't know, there's something wrong with something that I'm using. Yesterday, I used the Physicians Formula Primer and the ABH Foundation, and before I was leaving my house, I saw large patches. I don't know where they came from. Um, I saw large... Um, just like it has had just kind of removed all over my face. I, it has to be the primer. I've talked about the fact, I'm gonna take the shade Pinker by the way. I've talked about the fact that I think that it's starting to get a little bit old because it's starting to smell a little bit. So tomorrow 
I used the same base today, by the way, because I wanted to see if it happened again or if it was I had a new moisturizer. So I wanted to see if it, it was that one. But the same thing happened. So tomorrow I'm going to try not to use the primer. And if it is bad, I'm just going to declutter it because I'm not going to use up a product that does that. Okay, I'm taking the shade Supreme, which is the light pink. And I'm just going to smoke this out. Don't know how well this matches with my red shirt. I might need to change it, but that's the yeast of my concerns. I'm taking the kids and I'm staying at my parents for a while. That's the yeast of my concerns. The last thing I'm gonna do before mascara and such is to take this highlight from Kaleidos Cosmetics. This is the shade Space Age. I would take the white in this one, but this is, it has a golden sheen to it. So it's very warm toned versus this look. You can take whatever shade you have and like. This has a beautiful pink shift to it. Okay, I'm gonna do my lips, mascara, and probably change my shirt, and then I'll be right back. If anyone is wondering, my hair is still a little bit wet, so it's a little bit stringy, and um, it has a cast, a little bit of a cast in a way, so just wanted to let you know. I think I should have said this in the beginning of the video, but for some reason I just didn't. But what I do want to say is that this is obviously not a review. I just kind of wanted to sit down and create something. I feel like I haven't tested out the palette enough to do a review. This is my third look using it, but I still haven't used all of the shades. So I haven't used these two. Um, I haven't used Sponsored, Dollars. Yeah, but I've used all of the other shades, I think. But just like a quick little... A quick little review slash my thoughts about this palette. First and foremost, heck yeah, for not doing the velvety kind of packaging. I still like that, but I think that this is like way, way more uh, cute. I think that this is so freaking beautiful and I just, I love the packaging. The palette itself is so creative. I feel like you can do so many different looks. I mean, I did this look today. Yesterday I did a purpley smoky eye. I did a super neutral look this Monday. It's just such an interesting palette and the shade Lithu Lithuation, Lithuation is so... I don't know, it surprised me so, so much because I thought that I would never use that shade because I never really reach for shades like that. But when I put it in my crease, not in my crease, but you know, in my outer corners, I was like, it's so beautiful with this look that I kind of want to just slather this all over my eyes. I feel like you wouldn't probably use this with a brown, but this is perfect with the purpley tones that you have going on. I love the fact that this pink and purple is in this palette. The shade Pinker, I mean. Um, it's, I like the shade Big Wig as well. I feel like it's really an upgrade to the Riviera palette. I feel like the shade Supreme and Big Wig is probably two shades that you can find in the Riviera palette, like the Monte Carlo shade or whatever it's called. But I feel like the shimmers in this palette is not like the Norvina palette and it's not like the Riviera palette because those are kind of soft. These are more like the standard ABH shimmers, except for the shade Salmon. The shade Salmon kind of reminds me of a pressed pigment, not a pressed pigment as in the mattes, but a pressed pigment like shimmers. It's the same with the Milan Row palette that I've talked a little bit about or a lot about, but that has similar qualities. It's sort of like it is specs. I don't know, I, I can't explain it, but if you have seen how those shade perform, you kind of know what I mean. I am so intrigued to keep on using this palette. I think tomorrow I'm gonna use the shade Sponsored and just do a very, very nice grungy brown green eye. I think that that can be super cute because I need something that isn't as colorful as this, but still something that is snatched. I hope you liked this little tutorial, and if you did, please give me a little thumbs up. If you have this palette, 
let me know. Oh, by the way, if you didn't, didn't like this video, please thumbs it down. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new here and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.